Hello all and welcome to the third and final part of this unturned Halloween trilogy. So, I've managed to build myself a bit of a base in the uh, meantime since my last recording because I decide let's not have a death montage. I've created an extensive farm, I've invested in some skills. These are my uh, experience crop, corn, because it's the least good type of crop to grow. Takes up two inventory slots, doesn't really help all that much. So, that's my base. It's quite nice. Recently a supply drop came in, so I am armed to the teeth, and I figured, hey, I have a lot of guns now. Have a katana. Got that from a bank, actually, not the, uh, not the supply drop. But now that I'd say I'm about ready, what if I go and take on a military base? So, how would you all like to see that? Of course, it's a zombified military base, aren't they all? And of course, it is across an ocean, which is going to take a little while to swim across. So, I thought that I would tell you a little bit of how I managed to get all this gear while swimming across this ocean. Unfortunately, I don't have too many good stories from this experience, because it was mostly just grinding. But I'll see if I can't recall anything mildly amusing. You'll be delighted to know, I'm sure, that invisible zombies, the ones that can, like, cloak themselves and become very hard to see, remain the absolute worst things in my entire life. Like, if they all went and died in a hole, there would be no tears shed by me. I assure you of that. But as for other things, the supply drop gave me basically all my guns. I do have a very nice uh, crossbow that I've been working on. You know, as a silent way to dispatch the, the uh, fire zombies or anything that I don't really want to fight. The katana is a very powerful weapon. It only takes up three inventory slots, so it's kind of convenient if I need to quickly dis de equip it, disequip it, unequip it, whatever that word is. I'm mentally blinking on it right now, but I'm sure it exists, and I'm sure it's a very fine word. <laughs> Hopefully it's one of the three I said, although they all sounded wrong. Uh, how far do I have to swim now? I should be close. Good, good. Okay, so now that I'm here, I can basically just either cut directly through Stratford, or just run alongside it on the beach, and I think I'll probably do the latter, just because I don't recall there being anything of any particular use here. I mean, I could go, I could kill, I could get some experience points, but after a while, it just stops being as entertaining. Isn't that right? Yes. Okay, I'll kill you. There you go. Two hits. I do believe this is a gun store, so maybe I can check in here and see if they don't have any uh, useful items that I don't have yet. Uh, magazine, not that good. Uh, magazine, not that good. Uh, anything in the cabinets? Uh, knees clip, not that good, not that good. These are all just weapons. I was hoping for, like, maybe a tripod of some sort. There you go. But yes, it is a, it's a very different game once you've, uh, managed to collect some things. And honestly, normal difficulty is not that much more different than, uh, easy. I think you might get a few more, uh, useful items that spawn in. And so as long as you can survive and get the items you need, it's actually a very easy game to play. It's only bad when you're using your fists, because they kind of are terrible. But I mean, if you can get a, uh, good melee weapon, such as a sledgehammer, a katana is fantastic, I'm quite happy by it. It's golden because that's the color of the, uh, I guess... I don't remember what it's called. I guess like the col the gold pack. And it's just the I it's a bunch of reskins and exclusive items that I got for supporting the creator with a very small monetary donation. I mean, it doesn't affect gameplay in any way, or the very least not in any way that I can think of. But it's kind of cool, and it's a very cheap little donation. Is that a military helicopter? Maybe I should try to finish the episode by, uh, flying a military <laughs> helicopter out. That sounds cool. I'd be down. Alright, let's see. I don't really have too much reason to, uh, 
You're no better than a normal zombie, are you? No. Okay, that one can spit, so he has like one ranged attack in him. Alright, I'm going to anger you so that you use your spit. There you go. Just, you know, if if you can't sneak up on them, I don't recommend going straight in to fight them. Let them spit first, but otherwise it's a fairly easy foe to take on. I do believe that these are all giving me plus four experience, which is always nice. I'll have to check that. Dead? Yeah, plus five! Even more! But at this point, I don't need that many experience points, if I'm being honest. A military knife, that's fine. Uh, military magazine. I don't think I can actually use that for anything, unfortunately. I believe all my weapons are uh, ranger weapons. Also, I nearly <laughs> just wiped myself out. Like a moron. Fuel tanks, but unfortunately I haven't found... Uh, what do we... Okay, there you are. I haven't found a single, like... Oh, it's totally empty. Well, I might as well give you all a look at me. I found a purple balaclava, which matches my, uh, sweatshirt. Well, parka. Have a police vest on. So I got this right, and you know all my gear. There you go then. Okay, let's sneak up. Is that- are those both weapons over there? Okay, maybe you actually get a lot of more, uh, vehicles, not weapons. <laughs> I'm not dumb, I promise. I can tell it- oh, hey, that one's actually missing a tire. Shame I oh, hey, you've got a tire right here! Please stop interrupting me. Okay, so an off-roader, that's pretty cool. And you can- oh, two tires. That could actually cause problems. See, this guy's got eight tires. And this is, like, probably a lot slower, honestly. Oh, glad I didn't just run in peace. I thought you were all dead by now. Shows what I know. Ah, uh, you're kind of all not the best uh, equipment, though. I mean, only a single smoke bomb in the entire armory? I was expecting better of you. I wonder if this is any, uh, benefits over my, uh, purple, because if it doesn't, nope. Basically the same, just slightly worse durability. And honestly, it doesn't look as cool. Okay, I do like the beret, though. Unfortunately, something's noticed me. These remain the worst zombies because they can inflict a bleed debuff. Oh, but it did give me a maple strike, which is a pretty good weapon. Then again, I'm kind of, uh... Kind of got a handle on the weapon front. That more military magazines. I don't have any. I'm maybe the maple strike can take a military magazine. I'm just being ridiculous here. But I mean, the zombies don't really present any kind of a threat. Well, that's a GPS. Definitely want that. Now I can do a slightly more detailed map. I should probably actually let you compare. So this is the map with the GPS. I need to actually look down at my keyboard sometimes to make sure I'm actually typing things. And where did the GPS go? Right there. And this is the map without. So I'm just going to take the GPS and then drop the chart because it's, it's not like they benefit each other. They don't stack or anything. So, you know, if you find a GPS, I do believe it's slightly better. But only ever so slightly. Alright, so have I cleared this place out? I, think. I would doubt it, considering there's a zombie guarding it. Also, I really need to, uh, stop using my katana. I should show off one of these weapons I found. And this should be cooler. Alright. Oh, hey! Where'd you come from? There you go! Another maple strike. What's that? Oh, wow, I just glitched that maple strike out of existence. 
Oh, cool. This should be better than my uh, police vest. Or it'll be the exact same. Nope, never mind. You're not cool at all. Okay, let's try out this gun next. If there's anything left alive. Which there honestly might not be, considering the fact that I just tore through them all with the, uh, tiny gun. I would have thought there'd be at least a boss enemy around here. Of course, they're very hard, so I'm not really complaining that there isn't. Still, if anything wants to come out at me and give me a little surprise, that would be fine, because I want to show off the weapons I have. Well, a tank crashed through here. Any good materials? <laughs> Who made that noise? Oh, you did. Oh, you're dead. Nope, nothing in here either. Hmm. Well, I haven't checked in here, I don't think. I think I got distracted. So I might as well. Not good. There we go. Have I checked in this area? Can I jump this fence? No, I can't. Huh, you can be gone into as well, but you're also missing a tire. What is with the military and wasting all their tire? Ooh, demolition charge. No, I should, should, should not, 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 not have that in my, uh, hand while I'm looking through equipment. Haha, <laughs> that was not the brightest thing I've ever done in the world. Although I'm sure you all would have laughed if I managed to blow myself to smithereens. Man, I'm just picking up lots of explosives now. If only they were raw. Could use some raw explosives. Alright then. Well then. Since the Summerside military base is done and doesn't really have anything that we can do, we might as well go to Confederation Bridge. Also, always go into a... Oh, it's totally empty. There's not. There's no gas in it. No, no, there should be gas in it. Oh, it has an empty battery. Huh. Okay. That might be easier to fix. Right? How do I get batteries out? I don't remember how to get batteries out, so we might be stuck doing this. Okay, this doesn't seem stupid at all. And if it is... Okay. Nope. Alright. Okay. Okay. This is gonna take longer than actually driving over to that bridge. Oh, come on. Why are you sent? Okay. 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 I do have a driver's license. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't do this unless if you have a driver's license in real life. There we go. Yes. See? I can drive a car with only two tires. Why do you do that? Why do you centralize to, like, directly hit the wall? Okay. 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 Okay, okay. We are drifting terribly. No, okay. Okay, we need to go this way. We need to turn right. And then we need to go forward. And we need to keep going. Oh. Bridge is that way. We have to take that turn. Just checking my GPS. Don't worry about me. I'm really bad at driving this thing. Okay. There we go. See, there's more military stuff over there. This was a great idea. Uh, is that a tank? Oh, that's totally a tank. There we go. Killed them with their tank. Okay, that's good and all, but let's change over one of the big ones. Yeah, that's that. Alright. Oh, the tank has power! 
<laughs> Dude, you're just a civilian. You should not be here. Oh, yeah, it's an MRE. Not just a sandbag. Okay, who's growling at me? Uh huh. Oh wow, I. That was a very inconvenient place to stop. Okay, who keeps doing that? I think antibiotics give. Um, was that smoking before? No, that's de definitely just lit on fire. Did you turn it on your own? You are a determined little bugger. I will give you that. Okay, where are you? Uh-huh. Well, thank you for this enlightening discussion. I'm gonna get this. Oh, hey! I found you! <laughs> it's so loud, I love it. Just gonna suck those down, thank you. I should really get some food out of the way, though. Uh, those just give me more stamina. I grew a lot of berries, by the way. As you may be able to tell, like a ton. And also gathered a lot of food. Well, mostly water, actually. I can eat this tomato, though. I should probably just eat this. This is food. And now I can pick this up somehow, maybe, hopefully. You know, I built these ladders thinking that I'd be going up against, like, this really powerful creepy zombie that can just kind of murder you. And we aren't really doing that. There we go. Well, we destroyed a, uh... They, I should say, they destroyed one of our beautiful vehicles. And it was technically their vehicle, so that was just kind of dumb on them. Damn. I like this gun. I especially like the fact that I can actually... Get the, uh, type of ammunition for it. Alright. Just gonna snipe the zombies. Oh no. There we go. Oh wow, this is deeper than I thought it was gonna be, uh, honestly. Are these just civilian items in these car cars? Come on, this is hard to get to. I deserve so something better than paintball hoppers and binoculars. You can get this in any city. Oh. Everybody's trying to inconvenience you. Not even a rare item in the water. Well then. Huh. Maybe I should have, uh, not equipped myself so well. Then again, the, uh, well, I can at least drive a tank. I'm sorry, did the tank run against the... No, the tank didn't run against the barrier. I thought the back of the tank was the barrier. Did you get stopped by a rake? A rake, just lying on the ground, that stopped you. Yeah, okay, that's not good. What's the point of having a tank then? I guess driving it through town would be pretty cool. Oh, but you can't even like turn on lights and make a loud honking noise. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Is there like a way to get only into the top part?
Does it have a lot of inventory? I mean, that's kind of cool, I guess. I can put all the guns that I used away. And that. That. Cool. Well, then we're just going to run down some zombies. Or we're going to run down that cow. Okay, don't run away. I killed the cow, guys. I didn't know if I could do it. I'm sorry. Are you guys not aware of that? I'm in a tank! Okay. Okay. Don't you see, guys? They kind of suck. <laughs> Who could beat a tank? One spitty guy. And a fence. Do I have a car deck on me? No, I put that away. Oh, I can break the fence at least. Sort of. I can break some of the fence. Oh, I just crashed a tank on my face. Don't do this at home, guys. Okay, am I just hitting my tank? That should be enough. Come on, tank. You can do it. Okay, you're still a tank. Oh, I like how I can sort of see myself there. Okay. Maybe if I, like, shoot it. Oh my god, I died to zombies. Out of being stupid. What's that island over there? I can't really tell. I don't have my map because I didn't remember to respawn at home. Okay, well, I think what's probably... I don't even know. I don't know where anything is anymore. Without a map, I'm useless. Don't use a tank, guys! Moral of the story! Honestly, a fitting conclusion to my episodes. Well then, I'm going to head off, I guess. And just going to go and reclaim all my stuff if I can get there in time. If not, then I'll cry. Which I don't really want to record. I hope you enjoyed this spooky Halloween special. I hope you liked seeing me kill some zombies as opposed to the monsters. However, Monster Hunter World will be returning on Friday. I probably won't have a video up on Saturday, Sunday another Monster Hunter World, Monday another Monster Hunter World, and then on Wednesday we're delving back into Dungeons and Dragons with Chronicles of Mistara. Thanks for watching!